let's uh, now do a quick review of classic wars mentioned in Tanakh, from which we could glean some lessons. There was a case of the Pelegish Bigiva. This is the end of the Book of Judges, but also, chronologically speaking, the beginning of the era of the Judges. And this war, basically, who, who we can't say that anybody won the war. This was a Jewish civil war, which means we lost despite all the octaves. So there was unity despite the righteous indignation. There was unity, and that's a good thing. But they lacked Torah leadership. Look in the in the verses there, in the last book, uh, last chapters of Judges, it, it does mention one thing. It says there was no king in Israel. Everyone was doing this right in his own eyes. As we said, it means this means that they hadn't had someone, a king or a standard for a king. Who's a standard for a king? A Navi or a Shofi that everybody listens to, or an actual king. There was no judge at the time. And that's why in this entire war, there's no leader of Am Yisrael. It says there were elders, but no one's mentioned by name because there's no central leadership. Even Pinchas is mentioned as an afterthought. It says they consulted with the coin Gadol, asked him for the Tuvim, should, should we go up to battle? And twice he told them to go in God's name, and they failed. And it was uh, they, were, they were spitten. Perhaps they were asking the wrong way, or God gave them, God wanted them to be punished for such a thing. So God brought about retribution on Am Yisrael when they were without proper Torah leadership. This is another danger of Achtus. Achtus is good, but if there's no one leading it in the way that God wants it to be led, if there is no one telling everybody, here is how the Torah should be kept, here is the mitzvah we are keeping right now, then it is doomed to failure. Okay? Whereas I wrote, Achtus shmachtus, if you don't do it right. Okay? Very important. 